I finally got out of prison. None of us thought we would ever see this day. It was like the most surreal feeling ever. It was like, damn, this is finally over. Went into prison at six foot 144 pounds and got out of prison. 264 pounds, covered head to toe in prison tattoos. I had zero plans when I got out of prison. We stopped at a Circle K on the way home and he couldn't decide on which candy bars he wanted. He had too many choices, you know. He was just shocked with how it was on the outside. Peter had become institutionalized. Peter didn't know what to do. He was a lost soul. So we set Peter up with a bedroom in Matt Jr.'s house that he was renting, him and his wife. I'd never been to bars or clubs or anything, so that's what I did every day. We'd go to the Sam Bar where my brother knew the bartenders. We'd go there and get drink all night for 20 bucks. And I'd usually bring home a different woman every night. Girls at the bars, they like tatted up. Guys with inmate stories, apparently. <laughs> of course, I was worried already because I know alcohol can lead to bad decisions. I call it the elevator going down. Peter got back on the elevator and it was going down. I wasn't using drugs when I got out, but if I'm blacked out drunk, I'm not gonna say no if you put drugs in front of my face. I was drinking just like any other day with some of my buddies and one of the old guys from prison had somehow reached out to me through social media this part I don't remember very well. All I know is I remember leaving the bar to go get high with him. The next thing I remember is waking up in an ambulance on the way to the hospital. I'd asked the paramedics what I was doing on this bed, and they said that I just overdosed. And I said to them, I don't use drugs anymore. And they said, well, you did today. Just out of the blue, I get a call. And it's the call you don't want talk to the doctor. He said he's had six other people in the hospital with the same vitals that Peter has. And all six of them have died. And my dad called me and I could tell he was like crying. And he was like, it's your brother. I, I just remember screaming. I was like, is he effing alive? Is he effing alive? And I just jumped in my car, drove right to the hospital. Thank God for Narcan and the paramedics who were called right away. It was a miracle, and it turned out that it changed his life. I finally realized if I wanted to live and not be in prison, I had to be sober. I was done with that lifestyle. It's the first time in my life I feel like I'm proud of myself, and I feel like my parents can be proud of me, you know, my little brother. Every day that I stack up being sober and doing more positive is just trying to pay back them for all the I did. Once he got sober, I told my buddy who was running this car dealership, you got to get my brother a job there. No joke, I filled out the application there. I was in prison so long, it said on the application, have you been convicted of a felony in the last 10 years? And I was like, I don't even have to admit to that. It was 12 years ago. I did some dumb shit as a kid, and I just want someone to take a chance on me. And he did. I went from never having a job in my life to being a finance manager at a huge car dealership in Scottsdale. I have my own office in 13 months. I was still on parole, and I was pulling up in a brand new Raptor. A year and a half later, I'm going to a sobriety meeting, and in the hallway is Johnny B. 
Peter's like, what are you doing here? And I, I told him, I said, I'm here for a, a meeting. What are you doing here? He saw like the vehicle I was driving and he was like, no way. And I was like, bro, get sober. You can do anything. They kind of just took me under the wing in the 12-step the program, and I just, I just been moving forward ever since, you know? He asked me for a job. He just told me straight up, as long as you're sober, I'll vouch for you. And he did, and he vouched for me. I mean, his first month there, he sold more cars than I'd ever sold. Went from being homeless in prison to, I think he made $12,000 his first month in the car business.